The Premier of the Free State, Sisi Ntombela, has resigned. A change in the ANC's provincial leadership structure earlier this month put her future as Premier in doubt. She was beaten to the position of chairperson by Mkolisi Dugwana at the recent PEC conference. Dugwana now stands to be appointed as Ntombela's replacement. Muloko Muloto is tracking this developing story for us in Bloemfontein. Komangaung in the Free State and joins us now this hour. I guess, Muloko, there are many questions to be analyzed to say exactly how is this going to play itself out. With uh, Ms. Ntombela now saying, I'm gone, uh, the waiting game is, is beginning for who will take over. Hello, Brother and Moyane. Well, indeed. I mean, firstly, let's uh, indicate that the Premier this morning issued out a media invite, essentially inviting members of the press and or the media at large to a media briefing wherein she was going to update us about um, her future as the Premier of uh, the province. We have heard already that uh, she has written the resignation letter. And an hour after issuing out that media invite, she issued out another media statement essentially saying that she has cancelled, not, not even postponed, cancelled that particular planned media briefing indefinitely. Now, we spoke to the ANC in the province because we understand that yesterday the provincial secretary of the ANC, Mr. Poledi Sodihelele Mutsweni, spoke to the Premier, telephoned the Premier and uh, asked her to step aside. We understand that the ANC wanted her to step aside on Thursday, this coming Thursday, but the Premier, we were told, decided that, that uh, she would announce her, her resignation. Today, of course, she has since changed her mind. It is surely a, a, a final. The ANC is saying she has to make a way for Golisi Dugwana, the new chairperson of the ANC in the Free State. But maybe let's speak to somebody who is going to give us some coherent analysis and insights politically into this whole situation here. His name is Professor uh, uh, Matibetsi, Situlero Matibetsi from the University of the Free State. Prof, what do you make of this? Her resignation was surely not uh, unexpected, isn't it? Uh, definitely not uh, unexpected. But I've been very consistent on this matter, and my consistency was uh, the ANC in the Free State should not make the same mistake that have been done. Since 2012, this province has been in a huge problem where each outcome of the elective conferences has been challenged. And I thought that the ANC will tread cautious with this time around. But seemingly this is not the case. I strongly believe that it's not a decision that came from the current Premier. She was pressurized into this decision. And questions hung, hangs around the so-called notion of renewal. You talk about renewal, yet you're pushing out people. The very same people eight months later will have to come and campaign for the current leadership. That, for me, it's a little bit problematic. And I guess, Prof, the issue of renewal failed when Dugwana was elected because he was elected with a slate. In other words, none of the people who contested him and other people who were contesting on his slate made it onto the PEC. It was more an issue of a clean sweep. So the issue of unity and renewal failed at that level, some would argue. Now that he is likely in the coming days, Dukwana, that is to become premier, how do you see him balancing the act, especially when it comes to the constitution of the provincial executive councils, the MEC, do you see him retaining the very same MECs, nine of them, they didn't make it onto the PEC of the ANC in the name of unity? Is he going to do that? Well, it's very difficult to respond to the question of slates and all that. Uh, because others will say it's democracy at play. Uh, but be it as it may be, what is going to be very problematic is when uh, you, there will be a witch hunt against those who have not made it. Uh, you know, I strongly believe that 
that him God is him to go and have a glorious opportunity in front of him where he extends his hands and even invite those who have not made it. But believe me or not, there will be tremendous political pressure on him not to do that because we all know that there is political expediency. Uh, those who have won and those close to them will want to benefit because at store politics of the uh, stomach that reigns supreme in this particular province. The ANC, the Secretary General, spoke about the action that they are going to take against uh, the current mayor. I think you have driven around, you've been in Bloemfontein several times, look at how this yeah. province looks. That's a quick one. Then I want to know, and if, what assess, your assessment of the Premier's uh, performance over the past few years? No, very ceremonial. It's a Premier who will pitch up at events. It's a Premier who will do what she needs to do, but nothing very innovative. I don't think uh, the p residents of this province will have a problem with her uh, going. She does did the bare minimum that she was supposed to do. And I think if you look at the municipalities, uh, the Auditor General's out, uh, you know, reports, it's a dire situation in this province. Professor Setule Ronmatibesi from the University of the Free State saying it shouldn't really come as a surprise now that the Premier is going. Interestingly, Prof is making reference to the state of municipalities. Many of them are dysfunctional. But interestingly, Braden, the politician, the man who is responsible for overseeing the functionality of the municipality is Nkoli Sidukwana in his position as the MEC for cooperative governance. And it was under his watch that we have seen the continued um, dysfunction of municipalities in this uh, province of the Free State. Of course, we have heard from the ANC's uh, Free State spokesperson, Jabumba Lula, saying a decision is going to be taken tonight by the national office bearers of the ANC regarding who or to replace Sisin Tombela as the next Premier of the Free State Province. Braden. Thank you very much, Muluku Muloto there, getting some analysis on the ground in Bloemfontein about the leadership developments there of the governing party, the ANC.